Some people would say that the scientific view is rather bleak and cold. It put, put, here we are on a cloud of, on a, on a bit of dust really, orbiting the sun, um, and it's all going to go, it's all going to be destroyed one day. There's, Do you find it bleak? There's no, there's no um, God-fearing person of any religion who feels as much awe as me when I see a mountain or a tree. Or the stars. Or the stars, uh, or um, anything in science and nature and art. I, I, I don't buy it. I just don't buy it. The fact that this is a miraculous mistake, you know. Uh, uh, and you and I are privileged to be here to enjoy it, even if for a short time. That's well, a wonderful oh, thought. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's good that we were, we were born after they discovered fossils of dinosaurs, isn't it? Good that we were born at all, but yes. Well, yeah, yes, yeah. of course, yeah. What would that have been like? Nothing. <laughs> what, what would you be like if you'd, you were pre-Darwin? Oh, uh, I would probably believe in God if I were pre-Darwin. Well, this is the other thing. that uh, Sometimes I say to Christians, why do you believe in that God? And they say, well, it's the only God to believe in. I went, you know, but if you were born in Delhi, you wouldn't believe in that God, probably. If you were born in ancient Rome, you certainly wouldn't believe in that God. You know, uh, uh, and, uh, but it is... It is uh, a thing there that they... they yes, you, be, you believe in the, in the God of your parents and your grandparents. Most yeah. people do. I think so, yeah. I mean, you know, there, there, there's, 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 there's conversions and there's many people that seek one. I don't, they, they window shop. They go, what can you do for me? What do I have to do? Forget it. What do you do? I can still smoke and drink? I love that one. <laughs> you know, right. of course. Yeah. There are people who say, well, I was, I was on a quest and I tried Buddhism and it was all right, but I thought maybe I'd try again, so I tried Hinduism. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, well, which one spoke to you? Yes. Yeah, I know. And, uh, but um, it, it's, it should be irrelevant, but it isn't because it does infringe on people's liberties. Certainly religion, not spirituality. You know, someone believing in God, that's fine. Doesn't, Harmless. Doesn't, Absolutely, doesn't bother me at all. Religion isn't harmless. It, it's when it's when your God starts telling you that you should kill homosexuals, and you exactly know, that's when it that's when it's not harmless anymore. I was interested. You said that, that uh, you really objected to people being bored. You should never be bored, and I think that's right. The, mm. the world is a wonderful enough place. You should never be bored. If, if you're bored, you're doing something wrong. Well, you, you, you're probably ignorant in some way. I don't, I don't mean in a, in, a, in a nasty way, but you know you haven't you haven't seen the possibilities. No one's no one's pointing them out to you. You know, um, but uh, you know opportunity. That's very important. The place you're born. There's some places people are born into poverty with less less opportunity and less things to to do and see. I mean, if, if, if you're being shot at or your firstborn has a one in four chance of not surviving the first year, you're probably not thinking of taking up Makrami. <laughs> so, you know, the privilege is, um, is luck to a certain extent. But then it's what you do with it. I mean, again, that's politics, but, but, you know. Um, I, I consider myself privileged, certainly. Yes, it's a lot easier to enjoy life if you, if you are privileged in, in that sort of way. Of course, yeah. you know. There are some people who say that to explain existence, to explain life, to explain that we are, as they would put it, rather demeaningly, a bundle of chemicals, mm. somehow makes, it, makes life not worth living. Why? Why? Why indeed? I don't yes. understand it. No. I mean, this I mean is... it's wonderful even if you can explain it. It's even more wonderful if you can explain it. There's it a doesn't... magic there. There's, yes. a ma there's a magic to, to consciousness, introspection, free will. And the fact that you can say that it's done by nerve impulses speeding around the brain doesn't diminish it in any way. No, of it's course still not. wonderful. Of course not. Actually, I think no. it's more wonderful. I think it is because it's, it's amazing. Yes. I mean, it's, 
Magic does it for you. Magic goes, it's magic, it's, you know. It's, it's amazing that this conscious being, this, this thinking being that is me, and that thinking being that is you, is actually produced by millions of nerve impulses whizzing around inside our brain. I mean, that yeah. is a magical thought. It's great, isn't it? We're, we're in each other's dream. Yes. And if, even if free will is an illusion, it makes no difference. It makes no difference to us. I feel as though I have free will, even if I don't. Of course. Yeah. And, and, you know, um, I'd say determinism is, is, is sound, but um, it's when they, they start making these, these, these leaps that um, then we can't be responsible for our own actions. Well, you've still got to lock someone up yes. if they're going around murdering people yes. to protect the innocent. Yes. That, it that's, it that's... wasn't me did the murder, my lad, it was my neurons. Of it was course, my genes. yeah, yes. it doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. Well, there's, there's, there's obviously a, a little bit of that creeping into to everything, res responsibility, you know, being adult about things. Um, but yeah, it doesn't change a thing. I feel that I, I feel that I make my own choices. And if I don't, I certainly feel like I'm choosing. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's not even it's not even worth worrying about. But yeah, it's this this thing that takes the art out of something, or the humanity, or the beauty. Uh, why? Why does it? Mm. It's it's strange. And the way they think it's all too good, it's all too perfect. What do you mean? Yeah. Why? Why? Yes. Why? Well, the, the, you, you haven't seen the process, you know. Um, there's a wonderful thing about Douglas Adams that, um, that goes against the intelligent design theory. It's, it's a puddle. Oh, the puddle, yes. It's great, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, you tell the story. I mean, I'm. I'm well, it's, it's, it's just that, that um, yeah, a puddle is pondering and it says, I must have been designed because I, I fit, fit so this, well, fit I the, fit the, this the, hole yes. perfectly. Yes. Which awesome. is just beautiful. What a yes. beautiful metaphor. Yes for trying to explain you know, evolution and everything. Um, I also, uh, it's funny as well, because they move the goalposts. You can't, you, you, cannot, you cannot win an argument with someone who, who believes in God, certainly who believes in an interventionist God. It, it, it's impossible. Well, you've won. You've won in the sense that you, you've tried your best and you think you're right and they're deluded, but they go away you know, just as strong, you know, that, that, it, 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 I mean, their best argument, ironically, is that it's just faith. Pretty pathetic, really, isn't it? Well, it is pathetic, but they mustn't ever engage in logic. You know, it's like top trumps. They mustn't pick logic on their cards. They've got to, they've got to, they've got to go faith, 100%, and then you go, yeah, sorry, you win. You know, that's, that's, that's the only way they're going to win this, stop Trumps. They've got to keep away. Some, some embrace science. Some say God um, started the Big Bang. He invented the Big Bang. Um, and uh, he let it all happen. Um, it was programmed. Um, but now he's, he's, not an, he's not an interventionist God. Um, and uh, I say, well... So you believe in evolution? Yeah, but he did all that. He did that. Fine, fine. Um, uh, but then he gave man free will. So then it's it's not his fault anymore. It's like there's evil, yeah. there's bad. He had a go with the flood, but he thought I've tried once. Let him get on with it. I'm not. No, 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 no. I'll be in the study. Forget it. <laughs> you know. And then I say, well, why do you pray then? Because it makes me feel good. So they sort of know. I think they sort of know, but they don't want to know. Because I think, I did a film uh, uh, called The Invention of Lying, where um, there was a world where, uh, an alternative universe where we'd evolved and no one could tell a lie. And um, I play a guy who comes along and he can lie for the first time. And his mum's dying and she's worried about entering a void of nothingness. And I realise I can lie. And I say, no, you're going to a place where You'll be young again and you'll run and jump and everyone gets a mansion. And it's overheard and it spreads and I, I've invented religion. Now, I sort of think that did play a big part in religion. You know, what's the point? I've seen people die, but they're looking down on me. They're still around. You know, that's human in a way. That's, you know, the, we, we don't want to think. 
we're alone and we never see our loved ones again. Um, some you'd avoid. Um, <laughs> pets aren't allowed. I know people that stop believing in God because pets weren't allowed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what, what's up with the dog? No soul. No soul. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a minefield, really, for them. Uh, um, and agnostics annoy me more. Oh, yeah? Oh. Oh, this new, this new trendy um, little linguistic piece of logic that since neither can know, you've got to be agnostic. Well, OK, that's fair enough. But do you, uh, you know, um, follow the same rules with fairies and Santa? No, you don't. Would you tell your kid that we don't know if Santa exists or not? No, you wouldn't. You know, and which god don't you know exists? Which one? Which one don't you know about? Thor. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think yeah. Well, that's the other thing as well. Um, I'm 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 an atheist. I don't believe in about two thousand seven hundred gods. Christians don't believe in two thousand six hundred and ninety nine. <laughs> yes. So they're nearly as atheistic as me. Yes. <laughs> that's right. As a percentage, they're right up there. Yes. They're very nearly an atheist. <laughs> what if they said, well, I don't care which god it is, but I believe there's something, something unknowable, well, something... Well, some people do, yeah. and, and that just means I don't know, I'm not sure. Which, you know, is fair enough. There's a start. You know, I don't think you can... I wouldn't be smug with that sort of thing, because... Maybe they've never thought about it, or, or well, I would agree with they that. Don't understand. I think the, the the mistake comes in when you say because I don't know, therefore the likelihood is fifty fifty because it well of course it, that doesn't have to be fifty fifty. There's, there's lots we don't know, yeah. but we don't jump to conclusions. That's we right. don't know everything about the brain, but that's not to say that everything about the brain is unknowable. We rejoice in not knowing, not because we don't want to know, but because we've got something to work on. Absolutely, that, yeah. that's why people do puzzles. It yeah. comes back to hobbies. You do a puzzle because you don't know the answer yet. And scientists are doing puzzles trying to find out the answers to the nature of reality. Absolutely, of course, that's all we're doing. We're, uh, science just tries to understand the world a bit more yeah. for its own ends. And it's a wonderful process. It's fantastic. It's because, worth living for. Because it should enhance mankind. You know, this, this, this ridiculous thing about science coming up with the atomic bomb. I don't know what argument that is, no. that that's evil. Well, no, it, 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 uh, oh, this other one as well. How, how many times have you heard someone say, some idiot fundamentalist say, well, Hitler was atheist? Oh, God, yeah. Well, yeah. it makes no difference. Yeah. There are good and bad atheists. Yes. There are good and bad people who believe in God. Yep. But very few atheists kill in the name of atheism. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's an irrelevance to me. Mm. I, I, I hate being labelled an atheist because it's not how I live my life. I don't live my life going around going, I'm an atheist, I'm an atheist. No, exactly. And, no, I, 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 there's, there's, there's billions of other aspects to my life, why I do things. It just, when God's brought into the equation, I don't take that on board. I don't do anything because of God's watching me or because I feel God owns anything or God's driving me, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, it, it, it's a strange, it's a strange word and it's a strange label. It is. Hitler actually wasn't an atheist. No, no, he was a Catholic, Catholic wasn't he? Yes. Uh, Stalin probably was an atheist, um, but neither of them did their good things or their bad things. Not, not they did, of course not. Neither of them did their bad things because they believed or because they didn't believe in no, God. No, of course not. Yeah. It, was, it was irrelevant. I remember, well, I think, what were you on? Were you on, were you on a show in America? when um, someone said, well, Stalin and Hitler were both atheists, and I think you said, well, they both had moustaches as well. Yes. <laughs> it's just, just as relevant. Yes. <laughs> a totally irrelevant <laughs> statistic. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're clutching at straws. Yes. They're clutching at straws. They don't like atheists. No. I mean, we're at the top of the tree. We were, we're um, white, middle-aged, Western, men, but we blew it because we're atheists. <laughs> so we're the most hated, oppressed people on the planet. <laughs> you can't run for president if you're an atheist. Uh, well, you can, but you can won't you? get in. Oh, well, right, fine. Yeah, yeah. That's, 
Cut. That's wrong. So we don't need God to be good. Um, we don't need God to be good. And even if we did, we haven't got him. <laughs> Quite right. So there's what no matters is what's true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't choose to live, but I love it. Me too. Thank you very, very much. My pleasure. Yeah. Cheers. Oh.